What I'm going to cover now is the comparison between oxidative phosphorylation, which occurs in mitochondria, we're looking at it from mitochondria, versus photosynthesis, um, which is carried out in chloroplasts, if we're looking at eukaryotic cells. So in a mitochondria, we have two membranes, remember, we have an outer membrane, and our inner membrane has these cristae, and that maximizes the surface area of the mitochondria, because it's on this inner mitochondrial membrane where oxidative phosphorylation occurs. And that's really important to get ATP, which is the currency for cells. And in photosynthesis, we have a different organelle that's involved in creation of ATP, and that's a chloroplast. So chloroplasts have this uh, membrane, and then we have thylakoid membranes where our ATP generation occurs. And these are in these stacks called grana, and they can be interlinked together. So those are the two organelles that we're looking at, um, these processes of ATP synthesis occurring. Well, here we have a membrane, and in both systems, what they have in common is an electron transport chain. So we're just going to draw that like this. So electron transport chain, and that is really important in generating a proton gradient. So we have protons being transported from one side of the membrane to the other. And that gives us an area of high proton concentration on one side. That high proton con concentration means the protons then move back through a protein called ATP synthase, and in that way they generate ATP. So here's our ATP being created. And this is the protein ATP synthase. So those are the things that these have in common. So they generate ATP, these organelles, they have an electron transport chain, they have an ATP synthase, and there's this proton gradient that is what is created and harnessed to create ATP. What are some of the differences between them? The source of electrons that enter. So we have electrons entering the electron transport chain. And the source of electrons from mitochondria is we have um, oxidized sugars. So sugars get oxidized and that is our source of um, electrons. And on this side, our source of electrons is coming from the splitting of water, and we're trying to generate, in this case, ATP in order to create sugars. Um, the other differences is the membrane where this occurs. So in mitochondria, this is occurring over the inner mitochondrial membrane. And down the bottom where the ATP is being made is our mitochondrial matrix. And out in this area is our intermembrane space. In contrast, when we have photosynthesis, our ATP is being, being created in the stroma. And this is our thylakoid membrane. and our area of high proton concentration is in the um, thylakoid space. So that allows us to see what's similar between these two processes of ATP generation and what's different about them as to where the, where the electrons come from, what the ATP is used for, um, and the different locations where it occurs.